Hello everyone, it's Keyblade147, and this time, we're going into the RPG department. It's the Let's Play Tales of Vesperia playthrough. Finally. And finally get around to doing this, a game that I actually want to do. <laughs> it's not like I don't like doing the other ones, but just that this one particularly I wanted to do really badly. As you can see, I might be use as some people might know actually, this is a um, alternate account though. I just made a special account just for this playthrough. Essentially, um, I said in the update video a long, long time ago, I was going to do this playthrough. Um, I'm going to be doing every single achievement and all that junk. Okay, so, so yeah. So this game is amazing. Barriers protect the cities in which we live. This little backstory about um, barriers and Terracolumer, their world, it's really interesting, actually. I, I, I like the story in this game, actually, oh, even more than the other ones, more than Abyss, Symphonia, um, even um, Grace's F. Ugh. I'm actually so glad we're going to get that game. Unfortunately, we will never get the PS3 port of this in America. I'm so sad. Oh yeah, there's... um. Uh, one year later, after the 360s release in Japan, uh, the movie came out, Tale of the Vesperia, The First Strike, which was a little backstory of um, Yuri and Flynn and the um, Imperial Knights. And then a month later, the PS3 port came out with more extra crap. Damn you, Japan. One day, we may even forget the threat of the vicious monsters lying in wait just beyond the barrier. Yeah, I, I've always loved the anime style of cutscenes and tales of series. It's always nice. Something they always do in every game. We'll bestow ever more prosperity to the world and peace to its people. To its people! This kind of area actually reminds me of Pokemon, the um, fifth movie, I think. <laughs> no, it, you know, it, it, it would bring me flashback to Sonic 06. You know, like Soliana. Oh! I hate that place. Oh, jeez. That's kind of gruesome. Well, you know, it's a rated team game, so we can get away with it. Oh, no. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this Oh, town? yes. That voice is so good. Well, actually, um... Well, currently, right now, though, I've 100%ed uh, I've the uh, 360 version, and I'm finishing up the side quest and the um, platinum trophy in the PS3 version, but... Um, I have to say, the westernized voice acting is a lot better than the Japanese voice acting. I know that's rich, <laughs> because um, a lot of dubbed we animes we get is pretty bad. But yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I love the subtitles. Gasp! But then it's just dot dot dot. And here's our main protagonist, Yuri Lowell. He's 21, and he looks really feminine. Considering his name, oh Jesus Christ! Should I bring that up? Okay, okay. Um, Yuri, when it translates to English, it means love between women. Oh man! So I can already tell this playthrough is already going to be dirty. What's with all the yelling, Ted? Oh God! The problem in the um Americanized uh, version of this is that um. Uh, not only are the side What's character the voices really bad, but um, you, you you can pretty much take any yeah, sentence, knights, a lot of the sentences, the, the wrong way. The it, oh boy. What about, the heroic <laughs> what about Flynn? Well, he probably was on a wolf slaughter earlier. <laughs> oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Never mind that. Come on, we're short on people. Blah blah blah. Alright, mom. Jeez. Yuri, come on <laughs> oh god. Every time they're gonna say that, I'm just gonna laugh to myself just because it's so stupid. I'm surprised Japan got away with it. I'm surprised America, you know, didn't even censor him or freaking, you know, change his name. Oh, we could have had a worse name. Like, um, Kevin? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Or Troy. <laughs> Yeah, well, Yuri Lold, voiced by Troy Baker. The Imperial Capital, Zophius. Thank God we're seeing English. 
when I was doing the PS3 version, it was all in Japanese, I... Oh, violence. I just didn't know what the hell they were saying. Well, pretty much, like, the story's the same, but, like, the optional cutscenes and the skits, I really just wanted that in English, you know? Oh. And the worst part is, Bandai Namco said themselves they have no means of localizing the PS3 version. Oh, it's gay. So anyway, I'm just gonna change my name. Cause I don't want my name to be Love Between Women. <laughs> First the trouble with the knights yesterday. Now the Aqua Blast here breaks. Why does stuff like this happen every day in the lower quarter? I know, I know. It's no use whining about it. Rough. <laughs> Alright. Well we just saw a skit. It's essentially like after a little event or a um you know, you've done a little something in the um story. It's a little skit that shows a little dialogue between characters. It's pretty awesome. I like it. What's going on? Yar, me matey. We off to find the, you know, the gold doubloon. How nice. Hey, it's Sager Swim in this world. Looks like that blue blooded maid we wanted to fix the bus deal left the job half done. Half done or half finished? God, even though you change your name to, um, whatever you want, they still say Yuri. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, goody. That's, um, that's one of the established catchphrases already. I can feel it. God, I, I like this bit. Look, they're shoveling water into the flooding fountain. Shouldn't you be, like, you know, shoveling it out, you know? Oh, God. Two bit repair job. What the heck? That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. Oh, lovely. There are also bits like these that like aren't voiced, and they just seem repetitive and redundant to have. I don't know. It's just that. Oh yeah, look. There's a core missing. When we saw it in the opening cutscene. Oh god. There's like lots of bits in the 360 version. Where there's lots of unvoiced section. Oh. Pace, did you see the blastio core anywhere? You know that shiny piece in the center. You know that actual that little core that's actually not guarded and is easy to take out by one yeah, single person. Blastio won't work with the core missing. That aristocrat who came to do the repairs was the last person to touch the blastio, right? <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Morio. Oh. Jesus Christ. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got What Aaron? Seriously, dude. It's like after the movie, he probably, you know, been doing bugger all since then. Oh, what? Breaking and entering? Oh man. I have an idea. I know what we're doing today. Oh. No swearing. You gotta love it. He's invincible. What a world. Jeez. Probably in a dirty manner, I bet ya. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Alright, so anyways, um, let's go and, um, break and enter. <laughs> yeah. I like this music. It's the, um, the daily routine of, uh, a selfish man, I think. Shellfish man. Shellfish man. Selfish man. We got some good stuff for sale. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna buy a lot of magic lens just because we'll need them. Um, let's change it all at once. It makes it a lot easier. Now, actually, in the um, PS3 version, is that um, this guy right here, the Wonder Reporter, he actually has a voice. Yeah, I know it's so weird. And he's only he only voiced this one cutscene. Cause you see him um two times later on, but they're optional. But yeah, we'll see him. I don't know if I'll talk over that because it's not really important. It'll be our little secret, okay? <laughs> oh, that little dirty image I just had. The Wonder Log. 
Yeah, we're not gonna look at that. Uh, if you ever get lost in the story, you can just go back and look at that. It's not really needed, to be honest. Alright, so, um, in the, um, PS3 version, um, this cutscene is fully voiced. Like, these guards have a voice and whatnot. I mean, that's kind of cool, but, uh, just like, it, it's like, um, if anyone played Kingdom Hearts 2, there's a lot of cutscenes that really slow down the pace of the game, and a lot of them aren't voiced, so it just, it's just boring to watch. <laughs> this 21 year old, the boss, dude. He takes out guards with small stones. Oh, uh, you know, we can. I, I like to pretend that they're dead. Just, just because I'm cynical like that. Things are awfully calm here despite. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Everything's calm here despite the disaster going on in the lower quarter. Jeez. One thing I actually like about this uh, game is that um, they have a really nice perspective on how humanity and society works. I like it actually, it's really cool. So uh, I guess the thief must have a blastia fetish. <laughs> you know, like how Eggman in the Sonic franchise wants to be a furry. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the nobles are living the sweet life. This as is the sweet oh, life. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Right oh. I like I like how that had to get referenced. It's not their life, <laughs> That's the first. They, they should act, you know, noble. Not just dress nice and hide in their mansions. I love this game. <laughs> uh, I like how also the skits have so much character development when they couldn't be bothered to put it in the actual game. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, this cutscene's also voiced in the PS3 version. Hey! It's only part one, and, I probably, and I've already gotten um, two catchphrases already. So, you know, Yuri, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can snicker at that. And, you know, this cutscene will probably be voiced in the PS3 version. Oh, I can see that happening already. Alright, so let's break in. <laughs> We're breaking it in, Aaron, boys! Alright. So I'm also led to believe that Yuri can just open a window and slip into it. Hmm. Alright then. So, periodically you can look around and find random crap lying around. And yeah, it's needed for something. Oh, I hate it so badly. Yeah. Oh, what to do, what to do, 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 it's... Oh, I smell some suspicion. Hey, who's that guy? He's definitely not an old man. In the PS3 version, there's actually a side qu quest, I think, where you can actually see this man. Uh, I don't know. I never actually did it when I was playing it, because, um, you know, I couldn't be bothered. He has buck teeth. What the heck, dude? And once again, this cutscene is voiced in the PS3 version. Uh, once again, you don't really lose a lot from it, but I, I just hate how they couldn't... That's just, that's just laziness, to be honest. I don't even know if the um, Japanese 360 version are voiced, but yeah. Knowing America, they probably just follow everything the Japanese version, probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad they learned their lesson in the PS3 version. Oh great. Oh god. Yuri. So it is you who are the cause of all this commotion. Otako and Bokeh, the two I most derpiest retarded guards in the history of the universe. Oh my, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. <laughs> oh, that Just never gets old, seriously. Anyway. There's a uh, machinima on YouTube, a Smash Brothers brawl called Tale of Smashes. It's like a slight adaptation of Vesperia. Yeah, they're the two guards are, um, you know, Tweedle A and Tweedle B. I forget the name of the um, creator, but he's not making it anymore. So sad. I'm trying to escape. See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. You did not just. Uh uh, you did not just say that, girlfriend. Oh, that's a bad voice. I don't care though, but. Enough beating around the bush. Oh well, let's kick these guys' ass. <laughs> mirror shatter effect. I like how the screen like froze there for a second. <laughs> Stand back, Otacore. I'll handle this. 
In the name of the Imperial Knights. What? I say. I think in the American version, Autocar always goes like, I say, and it, it's just not good. I'm sorry. Like I said, the, the side characters and the um, NPC, their voices are just not go as good. I appreciate the cinema, guys, but let's cut the cat fight and get on. You'll get no sympathy from me. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, you move with your stick. <laughs> oh, that's that's a nice way to put it. You move with your stick. Oh God. You can also use RB to um, yeah, change your target, and you move. And you can also free run. The directions are on screen. Hey, let's go. You, you ready? ready? I am your superior. What the heck, Nate dude? Focus. You are, I say, clearly my support. Oh God, no one, we no one cares. You know what? Guys, Screw though. this crap. Let's just kick the ass. All right, so you attack with B. Yeah. <laughs> Free roaming attack. What? Yeah. All right. And that. Oh. There. How'd that make you feel? <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ! You. Hitting someone in the middle of an argument is hardly proper. We're actually supposed to be fighting. I hope you guys I noticed said, that. You ready? You not God. Damn. <laughs> Classic. Oh, brother. No. Uh, you stop right there. Oh my God, dude. Does it look like it, I'm running? <laughs> You, be quiet. Wow, just wow, dude. Oops, time for a little defense. Oh, don't. <laughs> I think he said that in the Japanese version. So, anyways, balls. Oh, are you kidding me? He took one slice and he fell over. Sad. Someone has issues. Okay. Why didn't you do that to start with? You silly little goose, you. Let's try that again. This next one's gonna hurt. Oh, it sure will, all right. <laughs> all right. So, anyways, you can do a combo like this. And yeah, you can also move um forward, uh, downwards, and upwards. All right. Oh, you're not giving up already, are you? <laughs> Yeah, they're idiots. Uh, I say, Imperial Knights never give up. You have yet to see our true power. Now I'll show you. <laughs> oh this God, that's like the best that's my line, line from Proton John. That's Everyone needs line. to subscribe to him. He's awesome. <laughs> oh my God, that had to get referenced for sure. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, don't look at don't look at them in the sun with the um, magic one. So basically, yeah, you can um, kick these dudes. Ah, you can kick these dudes ass. Nope, you're not getting me, you little midget. Dude, double teaming is not fun. Oh baby, to the face. All right, let's take a look at you, midget. All right, this will be easy. Tee hee. I'm over here. Oops. I'm stories to us. Yeah. Nope. Come on. I want to kill you all cool. Okay, that worked. <laughs> I wanted to kill you in a cool fashion. You thank me. I'm giving you some extra practice. Yeah. You gotta love cockiness from Yuri. Come on, guys. You can do better than that, can't you? Once again. Um, uh, nah, you can take that the wrong way. It why are they wearing pink? Looks like I won't be catching up with that carriage anytime soon. Oh god. I hate this guy so much actually. Not only is he an asshole, he 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 had the most fabulous costume and character design ever. Fabulous chest. God, he even wears lipstick too. What the hell? And his hair. Oh, that hair. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these. Guys. I can't believe we actually pay money to a higher camp looking captain, but uh, I know, right? There you gotta be kidding. Like we have to surrender just because we're surrounded. God, if Autocore and Bocus were so easy, we could take out these guards so easily too. Well, well, you've had a busy day, 
<laughs> you had a little busy day. <laughs> what? I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play. Oh my god! What is wrong with you? It's rats god. like you that make Flynn's job this so This playthrough is gonna be so dirty, I can Flynn, feel it. A little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant Really, needs. dude? Oh my god. When you finished with him, throw him in the prison as you What? Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. What? So, so, we're led to believe Yuri gets raped there. Wow. Hey, we're getting sent to prison. It, ha it happens. <laughs> Sucks so to be you. 